This is extremely embarrassing, but this month I made possibly the worst mistake with film that I've made since I started taking photos. Today I want to share some photos from the month of April, including a press shoot I did for an amazing music artist. I got to work with some of my favorite YouTube channels, and I finally got to use probably the dumbest camera that I own. So this is kind of just a nice excuse for me to sit here, talk about a bunch of photos, and share essentially like three different mini videos that don't make their own whole video. This is photos I shot in April. April was a great month, and I'll start by sharing the topic that I think the video is titled about, which is the dumbest camera that I own. And I want to start by saying I love this camera. It was a gift, and I'm very grateful for it. But I have a rule in my house that every camera on my shelf needs to have a purpose and needs to be in a rotation of use because I don't want to be a camera collector with a bunch of stuff sitting on my shelf collecting dust. So anyway, this is my NASCAR camera. As I said, it was a gift and it's super cool to look at, but I had never taken photos with it. So I decided it was time to take it out of the package and bring it down to the Long Beach Grand Prix, which is an event that happens every year in Long Beach where there's these races on the actual streets that they close off. And it's a super cool event to go and watch. And I decided I would photograph it all this year on my NASCAR camera. I know it's the wrong type of race, but whatever, race car camera, it was fitting enough. The secret weapon. It's, it's gotta be a neutral, dude. <laughs> For sure. That's 91 octane. Yeah. There we go. Everything was going really great with this camera. The race was amazing. There was a ton of energy, people walking around. It definitely feels like a Happy Meal toy and it's fixed focused, fixed exposure. In terms of fun, a 10 out of 10. Really fun to use. Everybody was asking about it. They're like, is that really a camera? And it wasn't until the end of the day when my role was sitting in my long weekend crossbody bag, which we made waterproof. And I also had my water bottle in there, which without my knowledge, had started emptying itself within my bag. So I now had kind of a portable aquarium on my body that I didn't know about because the bag is waterproof. And it was only until I opened it maybe an hour or two hours later, who knows, that I realized that the film was just sitting in this giant puddle of water. The canister was completely soaked. And yeah, it completely ruined the photos. I really wish these photos came out because I actually liked some of the shots. Um, an interesting effect for sure. I was surprised that water had this much of an effect on the film because, you know, film gets developed in liquids. So I figured maybe it would be fine just because it was bottled purified water. Um, but no, it definitely left some marks. And these photos look like they are like 40 years older than they actually are now because of these marks. The second roll that I shot, the photos weren't as good as the first roll, but the images did come out clean since this roll did not get submerged in a portable aquarium. I wasn't mad about it though, it was just some fun pictures and for the sake of the memories, they're still totally fine photos. The event was awesome. Thank you to my buddy Paul who, you know, got me the tickets and gifted me the camera. I will absolutely be using it for the next event that I go to. What's funny about these photos is because the camera's fixed exposure, it just completely overexposed it. Like my guess would be eight stops and I scanned these myself and they just showed up as white on the scanner and then I would make them much darker and just a good testament to how amazing film is at handling overexposure. Onto a more serious project, but 
still equally fun, I got to work with Donut Media this month, which is like maybe one of the coolest automotive YouTube channels and take some photos of some cars. And specifically, I got to work on their Nissan Aria campaign, which is like this EV from Nissan and they're doing a bunch of sponsored content for it and they needed photos of the car for their Instagram and for their socials. And so they asked me to shoot something that was completely out of my comfort zone technically when it comes to a photo which is a composite and not only did this have to be a composite it also had to split into six different individual square photos so that they could post it on Instagram and it would kind of all line up on their grid while still having something interesting going on in each of the six images and so I figured the GFX would be the perfect camera for this job because I could finally take advantage of that ridiculous resolution that it has, six different images out of one photo. And so I ended up shooting a bunch of photos of the hosts Justin, Zach, and Nolan around this Nissan Aria doing these kind of fun outdoor activities and then later composited six different images to make this one final scene. And you'll see that Two of the hosts are in the photo twice, which is just kind of funny and like a little bit of a trip, I think, for people who are seeing it. I don't do very technical images like this a lot, so it was a real creative challenge for me. My computer almost took off into orbit trying to combine six GFX photos into one, but ultimately it worked out great and it split perfectly so that each photo had something interesting going on. I also shot some more casual photos on 35 and 120 for them to use. And these turned out great, just very like candid shots of the hosts doing different things around the car. A little more casual, a little more relaxed, but these were really fun as well. And they got to use some of these. And it was cool getting to do a mix of film and digital. And they each kind of served their purpose really well on this shoot. Huge thank you to everybody at Donut Media who made this one possible. It really was an honor for me getting to work with a channel that I admire so much. Another project that I really enjoyed being a part of this month was some press images for Q, who is an incredible music artist. He has an album coming out May 5th, and so he asked me to shoot some promotional images for the album, for his social media, for flyers that promote the tour and whatnot. And so they had this studio rented out with an incredibly well-designed set where they were shooting both photo and video. You go for one like straight on. Yeah. Have your hand there still? Yeah, perfect. styling is incredible, the set design is incredible, and it made my job super easy. I shot for the majority with the strobe and I really like the colors. Q and I have been friends for like three or four years, but we've never gotten the opportunity to work together on something like this, so that was very fulfilling, getting to photograph a friend. I've seen them used in a bunch of different places already, which is really satisfying, just like Spotify art, on social media, album promotion. These were all scans and I do still want to darkroom print these because I think it could just be the cherry on top, especially with these colors. The reds I think would look really nice. I think while you're watching this, I'll probably be in Europe doing a road trip for maybe one of my biggest projects since I've started taking photos and doing video work. So very excited about that and very excited to share more of that on the channel. That's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years now and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. See you guys next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.